Is there any lag while scrolling through home screens, app menu, and web browser? Can background apps cause it? Okay, well, I'll just show you really quick. Here's the app menu. I don't have it really loaded up or anything, but it's going very smoothly. Home screens, as you can see, very smooth. No trouble there. Uh, web browser. No problems. All right, can background apps call it, cause that? So why don't we open up a few here? <laughs> this happens a lot, doesn't it? There are a lot of videos of me just opening a bunch of apps and then going, going around the screen trying to see if it's getting bogged down. Okay, so we've got uh, plenty of apps running there. I, I did not restart the phone before I uh, turned on the camera here, so it's actually been running for quite a while now. So let's go back into the browser. Actually, first let's just look at the home screens. You can see there's no change. If I had tried to do this while an app was launching, then we would have seen some stuttering. But you can see that Android is managing memory usage uh, pretty well here. Somebody else asked, um, how different are the Eris and the Hero? I've heard they are just about the same device. Um, well, I assume you mean the Sprint Hero. I haven't tried a Sprint Hero since the update, so I don't know how well it runs. But I can tell you that since I used one, that is if I compare the Eris that I'm holding now to the Sprint Hero that I used, Eris is faster. That last question about whether or not apps would bog everything down and make it run less smoothly, the Eris runs smoother than the Sprint Hero did when I used it, but that was before um, an update that HTC, or I'm sorry, Sprint sent out. Um, I'm not going to tell you there haven't been times when it was bogged down because I have experienced that, uh, particularly once when I was at the dog park and I had all kinds of apps running and I tried to open the camera. It took forever. I mean, by the time the camera opened, uh, there was nothing to take a picture of. So it's not perfect, especially after using the Droid. You know, other phones start to seem slower after using the Droid. Last question, and I got maybe, I don't know, a dozen duplicates of this one. Please do an Eris droid dog fight. Well, I don't have the droid on me anymore, but I can tell you just off the top of my head what I like better about each one. The droid is faster. There's no doubt about that. I was very fond of the European hero. I liked the sprint hero. I like Eris. Eris is actually my favorite out of those three now. Um, you know, I was a loyal and ardent fan of the European hero design, but this one just feels so great in your hand. I love it. Um, but I have to say that after using the droid for a little while, this feels pretty slow sometimes. Not all the time. It's a decent device. I'm using it uh, as my regular daily phone. But the droid is, is much, much faster. It also has a bigger screen. There are pros and cons to that, mostly pros, but uh, you know, just because some apps haven't caught up and created um, versions that are compatible with that bigger screen, sometimes it can be a little bit of a hassle. Especially because one of my reasons for liking vanilla Android is that it's more customizable than, say, a phone that ships with Sense. That's not so much the case with Droid right now. I had problems with home replacements. I didn't test all of them, but I had problems with the home replacements I did try. I had problems with replacement keyboards, which I absolutely have to have on a vanilla Android device. I don't like the default Android keyboard. So a lot of the things that I would have expected to be strengths in the Droid, being a vanilla Android device, turned out to be a weakness, really. Um, in terms of form factor, Eris just kills Droid in my mind. I mean, that thing is so sharp 
and it, the, the edges just are unfriendly to your hand. It's not, like I said uh, in a video I did on Droid, it's not like it's really extremely uncomfortable to hold or anything, or like it's, you know, jabbing me in the leg every time I sit down if I have it in my pocket. But, you know, Eris is so ergonomic, it's like, it was designed to be held, whereas I feel like Droid is designed to be looked at. Um, the other thing is, I really didn't like the Droid keyboard, so it felt like a waste of space on there. I mean, Droid is pretty thin, but I couldn't use the keyboard, so I didn't like that. And because it has the Android virtual keyboard, I, I didn't do a whole lot of typing on it, really. Now, the uh, Eris, of course, has the Sense keyboard, which is my favorite virtual keyboard available. Um, I, I really do think this is the best keyboard you can get for a virtual keyboard and it's good enough for me that I don't need a hardware keyboard anymore. I like the Sense keyboard. But if I did want a hardware keyboard, it wouldn't be the one found on the Droid. I really don't like that keyboard at all. The keys aren't separated, they're too flat, they're in a grid formation. I, I have to stare at the keyboard, I have to, you know, hold it up close to my face. I have, you know, not the best vision. But I have to look at the keyboard while I type. Well, if I'm going to do that, I might as well have an on-screen keyboard. What's the benefit of having a physical keyboard if you can't do any kind of touch typing at all? They're both have these capacitive buttons at the bottom of the display, and I love them. Um, the droids are more well implemented. They have better uh, response, like for instance, the long press on the home button that brings up recent applications. On the droid, the timing is so great, and I... I talked about this before and I know it sounds silly, but it's one of those little things that just makes it feel extra nice. It really does. You don't get any kind of um, response to let you know that you've registered a long press on Eris. You know, no big deal. Just something that I kind of liked about the droid. Um, the trackball. I've gotten so used to using trackballs on Android devices that I've been taking them for granted. Not having one on the droid it, it turned out to be a pretty serious problem for several people I know. Um, I didn't complain about it before because I generally wasn't really using the keyboard too much. I was so dissatisfied with typing on the droid that I didn't care. But on the Eris, you know, because I am typing, I realize, you know, when you're in the middle of writing a message and you want to go back and make a correction, it's so nice just to be able to roll the ball and get up there. With the droid, if you're using a virtual keyboard, you've got to open it up, use that D-pad, or just try to, you know, keep hitting around the text to try to get it where you want it. Um, very frustrating. The Eris has pinch and zoom, and that's really useful. I mean, for those of you that don't have it on your current phone or haven't had it, it's one of those things that you might not think too much about, but once you use it, it's so intuitive that you just don't want to go without it anymore. You know, you start taking it for granted, then you get on a phone that doesn't have it, and it's like, oh, yeah, you know? So having that on the Eris is great. The Droid is capable of it. Uh, it's just not really implemented yet in many apps, certainly not the built-in apps. So that's something that Eris definitely has over Droid. And I just want to tack on another section of that question there. People were asking, uh, would you prefer the Hero or the Eris? And then the other question was, would you prefer the Droid or the Eris? In the case of the Hero, um, I like Eris, although i got to say, I've been having some very frustrating problems with Verizon. But just based on the phone itself, I prefer Eris over Hero versus the Droid. You know, that's so tough because the Droid is fast, I mean, really fast compared to other Androids, and it has this killer screen. But I'm a big fan of Sense. I wouldn't buy a phone just because of Sense. Eris's form factor is better. Uh, I don't feel the need to customize it because I think Sense is so well done, whereas the, the Droid customization is actually pretty limited. So you're kind of stuck with a default Android. But it is Android 2.0, which is great. It has Google Maps with navigation, which is great. But I still, I think I would, I would probably stick with Eris. That's all the question and requests I'm going to be taking for this phone, so we're pretty much done with it. Thanks for participating, and uh, take care.